Digital Dive, a closer look at a story you're talking about online. Violence in St. Paul dominating the conversation on our Care Love and Facebook page. By now, you've probably heard about the three people shot and killed in just nine hours earlier this week. The spike in violence puts the city on track for its deadliest year in a decade. So St. Paul police are beginning a five-step plan to stop the violence. In response to the killing, St. Paul police announced this plan you see here. First thing on it is call back officers for extra patrols. They're also creating a task force of investigators and they want to use new technology to analyze surveillance videos related to gun crimes. They want to work closely with community leaders, federal, state and local partners to hopefully find the suspects. And last but not least, they really want to engage with you, the public. So here's what our Sunrisers had to say about their five step program. Julie said they want to take guns off the street, but what's needed more is for the community to speak up and say who's doing these things. Tally said, walk all the neighborhoods that are having these shootings and calm support and encourage. That's okay to help police. And Andrina said, I hope this changes in St. Paul. At least they're trying to get them off the streets. She also says she hopes Minneapolis would take some of the same steps downtown. We do have all the stories uh, of the gun violence posted right now, carelovin.com. You can chime in too by using the hashtag sunrisers, but at least they're being proactive and trying to do something to fix this epidemic. Yeah, right? it looks like a solid plan on paper. We'll see if it translates into what happens in the actual community. Yeah. We'll have to wait and see about that. JD, what's